In this video, a group of friends head into the woods for a walk and a picnic. But when they cut into their food, they find only worms and insects inside. Before they are able to calm themselves, it begins to rain and they are forced to find shelter. On finally finding shelter, and it's here that, after falling asleep, they find themselves in a terrible nightmare. But awakening from it, they find reality even more terrifying until they flee in fear. This is the second version of Alice in Wonderland. Filmed in 1915, it made use of ingenious special effects to compensate for a lack of technology. But these effects gave a dark and eerie feel, which was only made worse by the costumes worn by the actors. The film opening alone is creepy, as Alice is tempted by a giant rabbit to follow him down a dark tunnel. Emerging from it, she finds herself in a mysterious world of other strange creatures. This short film was produced by Thomas Edison, and being an innovative man, it was the first ever film to use special effects. The way they used such effects disturbed its viewers. It depicts the execution of Mary Stuart, who at one point was the Queen of Scotland, but later executed by the English. She is shown being led to the block, as the executioner raises his axe. He then grabs her head and holds it in the air. It seems to be the first ever film to feature trained actors. In this film, a woman was sent to an insane asylum after attempting to murder her own child. Her husband is a janitor who works at the asylum. He hopes she can recover and one day return home. But as the film goes on, it dawns on him that she has passed the point of recovery and will remain locked away forever. And on realizing this, he himself loses his mind. The film's final scene disturbingly demonstrates this.
For 45 years, it was thought of as a lost film, but it was tragically rediscovered. In this film, the King of England orders a young boy's face be disfigured. It came after his father was executed for refusing to submit to the king. The boy grows up to have a permanent grin, so as the king said, he will laugh forever at his fall of a father. As an adult, he performs as a travelling freak act. Ever since its release in 1928, viewers have found the man's grin so disturbing that the film is considered a horror, despite it not being intended as one. In this film, a detective is sent to investigate a supposedly haunted art gallery. Rumours of a deadly phantom who occupied the building spread widely. As it turns out, the phantom is real in a sense. It was a criminal in disguise planning a robbery. The film is slow moving with the phantom trying to gradually encroach on the detective until he can kill him with a switchblade. The sight of this phantom emerging from pure darkness with a knife has terrified generations of viewers. The thief takes on the appearance of an Egyptian god, and some of his behaviour might suggest he worshipped this god. The internet has seen countless creepy gifts from the film Haksan, a Danish production following the history of witchcraft. It's a fictionalised documentary, yet some call it the most disturbing film of the 1920s. Its production was inspired by a witch hunting guide from the 1400s, a time when countless innocent women were burned as witches. The film was banned in the United States under the claim it undermined Christianity. But I think it has more to do with the film's dark scenes of black magic rituals and devil worship. A lonely traveller finds himself lost in a dark wood. As he walks onward, he eventually emerges into the underworld. It's here that he witnesses many shocking and warped scenes. As he journeys deeper into hell, more and more disturbing scenes and tests await him, with demons torturing the condemned. It's at the deepest point of hell where he sees the devil with his own eyes. Being released in 1911, these depictions horrified audiences everywhere it was screened. Based on an Edgar Allan Poe story, this film depicts the death of a man while a hypnotist tries to save him. The man's family brought in the hypnotist to extend the life of their dying loved one. But when he does die, it becomes clear that the attempt was a failure, although not entirely.
Nosferatu was an unauthorized adaption of Dracula, so notorious that a judge ordered every single copy destroyed. Just one copy survived as it was smuggled to America, giving us the chilling imagery you now see. Not just the vampire, but entire look of the film is strange and eerie. It tells of the mysterious Count Orlac, who lives a quiet life in his remote castle where he lures innocent victims. Nosferatu launched the vampire genre. Film had never seen a creature like it. So although to some it may seem quite tame, in 1922 it took the audience to somewhere they had never been before. 